Hi everyone, welcome back. I am Dave, and I am, we are back with Lee. We are back in the saddle. We were, we were off for a little while just because of this, that, and the other thing, so happy that I have you back again. Not as happy as I am to have you back in my life. <laughs> Aww. How sweet. <laughs> How touching. So, I don't know what, why that we haven't been face to face. Um, what have you been working on? Why don't you catch us up on what you, you've been doing? I've been working on uh, the Beyonce socks and their shorties. I've never done ankle socks ever in my life. Ooh. This is how long it is. It's like the length of my middle finger. I've turned the heel and I'm a third of the way through. Like between a size 10 and 11 shoe, so I found that a short sock will allow me to get a sock out with one skein of gear. Which is different. Now, as we've covered before, you're kind of the queen of socks. Do you like doing these shorter socks? I'm excited about it. I'm excited to make sure that I get the most out of a single skein and not have to deal with one sock is one skein, the other sock is another skein, alternating skeins for some reason. But I think the shorter sock is going to be good, especially living in LA. I think long socks are, are not going to have a part in my life anymore, unfortunately. That's fair. Now, did you have a lot of leftover yarn from all the socks? So I typically have leftover yarn from socks because I'm a size seven and a half woman shoe. And I usually use about 330, 340 yards, and your typical skinny sock yarn is 400. Okay. But a men size 10, 11 foot is really pushing it for a pair of your traditional longing for, you know, long leg like a sock. Did you have any? Things, about 30 socks deep, knitting socks. Now, did you do anything fun with all the leftovers, or? That's going to be an upcoming episode. I want to create a sock yarn blanket. Ooh, very nice. And I've kind of arranged them in ways that I think will be beautiful. I want to jump on the Hexapuff bandwagon, but I don't know if I'm ready for that. So I think it'll be a mitered square blanket or a log cabin. Let okay. us know in the comments. Definitely. I mean, I, that's always the trouble with knitting is what to do with all your leftovers. So It is very tough because almost never do you knit and exhaust the entire skein of yarn. So you end up in this world of a bag full of odds and ends. That, that will be my, my upcoming project. Excellent. Very nice. So, what do you knit? Um, I actually just finished a kind of like a baby blanket. Um, when we spoke a little while ago about color change, I wanted to do something with color change. So um, I did my color change. I really, yeah, I really like how it came out, um, you know, I talked about it a little bit more in my video, um, but I, was, I mentioned before we started, I wish there was actually a little bit more to this yarn, because as you can see, it goes from very light blue to kind of dark and you know, purple. What I want, like, what, what I think could have been kind of nice and kind of added is if they went from dark purple to like that very light purple. I think that would have been a nice kind of symmetry to the yarn, but um, there's about, it was like a little over 400 yards, so it probably would have been more expensive than probably 500 or 600 yards, but I still would have loved that. That would be super cool. I wonder yeah. if, the, you know, it will potentially change the dye process. Possibly, and it's not exactly a complaint per se. I mean, it's, I still love the yarn, I still love knitting with it. But um, it's just something um, I think would be cool to see with them. You know, it's just kind of whether they do it a little bit different, because they also do a really good job in terms of blending the colors. Like it's um, not really, like it's really a soft fade from one color to the next, so it's really nice, but it um, would be nice to look at. So, but, you know, that's kind of, um, what I've been working on, I actually started something with some other VR because I'm always doing other stuff. Um, doing a blanket. Um, yeah, is 
it like a chevron? Yeah, um, it's kind of, I mean, well, it's kind of nice. But it's like, the, the pattern's called like a zigzag afghan. Um, okay. Is it all scrunched up or is it an afghan for like a teddy bear? No, it's all scrunched up. I just um, did this part just to kind of show. I mean, I think the pattern really shines with multiple colors, but I'm just going to use colors. Okay. Do you have a ton of skeins for my grab bag? Yes. I, well, I'm... Yes, I'm trying to use, like, those games that I got from, like, a year ago when I got that huge grab out from web, so... Slowly but surely, I'm getting through it. I actually have ten skeins of it, so that's kind of... Uh, I wanna... After I did that last, like, and I wanted to do another one, so... Hey, I have probably ten skeins of sock yarn remnants, so I got struggle. Yeah, so it's... It's using it up, but also... Speaking of other projects, like, it's actually pretty cool. Um, so I've been getting a little bit bored and I actually f kind of realized I really enjoy doing patterns, like writing patterns. So there, I know. So like I actually, um, there's this podcast called the Half Hour Happy, uh, Half Hour Happy Hour. Um, okay. It's really funny. Um, it's these two people that I've seen on a couple other things in the past and I really enjoy listening to it. It's really funny. Um, I actually like emailed them like, hey, I knit. Do you want me to make you scarves? And they're like, on the path on the actually this following podcast, they're like, they read my email. They're like, sure, we would love it. And it was just really funny because they like made a couple of jokes about like scarves and stuff. And the like the title of the episode is like scarf something. So it like made me really happy. So like I'm actually gonna make like a pattern for them and actually make scarves for them. That's so fantastic. So were they not hitters? It's just like a general podcast? It's just like a general podcast. It's, if anyone knows of them, Alice, Alex Albrecht and Allison Hayslip. It's really funny. They read stories. They, um, they actually do drink during the entire episode, so it's just really funny. Um, do they Say again? Do they give recipes for the cocktails they're making? No. It, you, it varies on what they make. Sometimes it's just like beer or wine, so it's just them kind of having fun with it. So it's very cool, very funny. And it's about half an hour, so it's a good kind of shorter podcast. I'm sold like that in the show notes. I, I want to check it out. Absolutely. I, um, absolutely. They're both pretty funny people, so and they're pretty good friends, so it's great to hear them and listen to them. It always gives me a lot of humor. Um, I'm probably going to be do. So the, also, like the nice thing is, I'm actually going to show my work in terms of making the pattern and what I do. Yeah. So that's my, I guess, my big news for the week. Oh, I love your big news for the week. Yeah. So I mean, tomorrow, I actually have the day off tomorrow, so I'm actually probably going to go shopping for VR. I mean, I'm just going to probably go to Michaels. So yeah. Um, and also. I, my idea, actually, I should probably mention, it's actually going to be double sided. So it's not. Like, that, like, that's the thing. Like, I remember a while back, I actually did a double sided project on Blanket for someone. And it was a lot of fun, good challenge. Um, so I'm going to make it double sided. Because I like that and like challenging myself. It's not good enough just to do a little better. I love that. I have never made anything double sided. What is different? You're just like caring for both yards. Yeah, like basically, like, um, you know how you, like, do ribbing for a pattern? Yes. It's like that, but when, like, you knit in one color, when you purl, when you carry off the yarn over, you do both yarns, but you purl in the other color. Okay. Yeah, and then, like, you just go back and forth. It's like one oh. by one rib. Look double sided. Yeah, well, like, once you're done, like, it squishes together so it doesn't show, like, the interior. And like when you cast on, like if you're gonna make a scarf, instead of twenty, you do forty. Got it. And that way it just kind of squishes together and it's just twenty and it just kinda of goes back and forth. Does the ratio work out? Does a twenty uh, stitch of normal knitting equal 
20 stitch of double knit or would it be wider or shorter? It's not, I found that it's not wider and shorter, it's just thicker. Like you're basically... Okay. Like, you just get more... Say again? You just get more dimension. So yeah. So like three knees or whatever. Yeah, like basically you're just knitting like two scarves together. So it's okay. like, I don't, at least I'm trying to remember. Granted, I've only done like one project double sided knitting, so like it doesn't, I don't think it really affected like width or length. It's just more like it's a heavier, whatever you make is a heavier thing. Okay, so were you going to use like sock yarn to double up in the DK? Like does it knit into the gauge to double? Um, I don't know if I'll use sock. Like I actually, I'm definitely going to use like a, a smaller weight just because it will be a heavier thing, so I have to think of the options. Maybe I'll use this out here. Depends what I find out my goals. I mean, I'm very intrigued. Oh um, yeah. Uh, there'll be, that's the thing, I will be chronicalizing everything if that was the correct word, so like that way. Um, it's a okay. Yeah. So there'll be pictures and pa like, I'll probably have a video of just me just making the pattern. Are you gonna post it to Insta? Probably, yeah. So that, see, that's why you should follow all of us on Instagram and everything because you get more content, more pictures. Um, I post all of the ornaments that I've made thus far on Insta. Yes. I mean, do, you've made more progress with your ornaments, haven't you? Yeah, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That'll be on Insta tonight. I'm looking forward to seeing that. Now, are you still enjoying that, or...? I actually really enjoy it. There's something about beadwork that I find so soothing. Because the repetition that you get in knitting, you do get in the beadwork of, like, place bead, pull stitch, place stitch. The only thing that I find super frustrating is that red has a beginning and an end, and you have to tie a knot, and then you run short of it. And I'm like, oh, I can't do a Russian join. I literally have to tie this off and thread the needle again. The threading and needle really throws me off. That's fair. Now, after the ornaments, would do you think you're gonna do like another beadwork kind of thing, or? I actually, I don't know what it would be, but I'm definitely not opposed to doing some other beading-related project. It could be clothing-related. Okay. So we will, we will see. But I may have caught the beading bug. Okay, that's good. I mean, I. I think I have to try some other crafts, like someone got me actually a cross-stitch kit for like my, for Christmas, I think, that I want to try. Um, because like I don't, like knitting's my main thing, I don't really have many other things, I, the only thing I do otherwise is like make patterns, but maybe I need to try some other crafts and expand my horizons. Yeah, give it a shot, I don't know, I've really become a brought to life with this crazy beating craft. Huh? Who doesn't need custom handmade Christmas ornaments? The question is, everyone needs it, so... <laughs> this is true, and if I make enough, there'll be too many for our tree, and I'll just send them to everyone. That's true. Maybe we'll do a giveaway. We'll give one or two away. That would be very exciting. Alright, oh, I'm on it. Okay. Well, we make no promises. We'll finish yours first, then we'll go from there. I mean, I make tons of promises. I'm sure I can make at least one or two ornaments to give away to loyal viewers. <laughs> I.e. just our friends. But I love them. Shh, don't tell them. Don't tell our listeners. <laughs> Hi, Dave! <laughs> but, yes. Um, so I think that will be it for tonight, and we will see each other soon. Very soon. We'll get back on a regular schedule. We promise, I swear. Nice and swear too. Bye. Bye guys.